Hey guys, today we're going to be jumping into a tutorial on how to do a retouch in Photoshop. Okay guys, we're back. Actually a little change of plans, we're going to be doing Stamkos. I couldn't find a, a, like a really good picture for this type of design of Tyler Johnson, so I found this picture of Steven Stamkos. Uh, once you find it, you're going to go... Once you find it, you're going to click View Image in Google Images, and then you're going to click and drag it. At, before you do this, you're going to want to minimize Photoshop, drag it onto the the uh, home screen, and then and then right click. Or if you're on a Mac, you're going to use both fingers and click at the same time. <clears throat> then you'll click Open with Adobe Photoshop, and then there you go. You have your entire image in the window. So first thing you're going to do is duplicate the layer. You can either Command J, Control J if you're on a PC, or you can click the click the layer and drag to this to the new layer button. So after we do after we duplicate the layer, we're going to crop it to square. Um, you want to get the player in the middle uh, of the cropped image from these sides right here. So this looks about good. Uh, we're going to hit OK. And this is going to be what the final product will look like in this shape. So um, at right now, we're going to grab the quick, quick selection tool. Make sure um, that your brush is this hard, um, all the way up on the hardness. Spacing doesn't matter at all. Um, but you're going to make sure you're on the top layer. Um, and then what you're going to do is you see how the player is in blue and the background is not. You're going to select everything but the player, and then you're going to take that out of the top layer. But um, <clears throat> to do this, you just click, and then and then it will select what you want. But the thing is, it doesn't. It's not always 100% accurate, so you're going to have to use Option, or you can come click on this. But it's a lot easier to use Option to minus what you don't want. So you use this, and you can take out uh, what you don't need or what you don't want selected. So. We're going to go through this entire image, and I'll be back once I do that. Okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see, I have this entire background selected, the sides, and But um, before I go into the next step, I want to tell you guys something. Um, if you're using a Mac, I'm not sure about PC, but if you're using a Mac, you can use the, um, the keys right next to P to go um, to make the brush size bigger or smaller. These are the square brackets or the brackets with the little, um, I'm not sure what they're called, but they have the little design on them. Um, it's also right above uh, shift, and cut like two lines above shift. So you can use those to change the brush size uh, when, you're trying to, when you're trying to crop. So um, also if you're cropping and your player has longer hair, you can use the refine edge tool and you can clean up um, the parts that you may not have been able to get made like on your own um, because of the player's long hair or as you can see I had to fix something right there because I didn't get it perfect uh, and then you can hit OK so then once you have this player once you have this image selected the background I'll also put the picture link in the description uh, you're going to want to hit delete or backspace on your Mac or uh, PC depending on which one and then you can make the bottom layer visible and invisible to see how well you've cropped it. Um, as you can see, this cropped pretty well. Um, if you want to clean up the edges a little bit, you can use the blur tool with the strength of 50 and just uh, go around the edges a little bit, make it look a little sh a little nicer. And as you can see right here, I missed a little spot. Wait, let me uh, make this brush harder so I don't get any of him. And we're going to zoom in. This is close enough. Okay, so you can see the quick selection tool does not get every little piece, so sometimes you're going to have to clean it up just a little bit like that. Uh, it's a really easy fix, but you should be okay. Um, it's really rare when that happens, uh, but sometimes it does, so it's just, it's not it's not bad when that happens. So you're just going to go around and just um, roughly, roughly uh, clean up these edges with the, bl with the blur tool, um, and it takes only a couple seconds, and then you just want to clean it up so it looks nicer. Um, <clears throat> so then, after you have used the blur tool to fix the edges, 
what you're going to want to do is add a new layer grab the brush tool or you can hit B or click it right here um, we're gonna want to make this brush a little bit smaller it's a little too big so drop it um, around there should be good we're gonna make sure white is the color that we want to use and what we're gonna do is it looks like the light is coming from uh, this side and this side so we're gonna try to make this as realistic as possible and a little bit down here and here so we're gonna try to make this as realistic as possible uh, so what we're gonna do with the brush tool you're just gonna paint over these edges that, to make it look realistic because you can see the light coming in um, so the lights obviously gonna hit there um, it's obviously gonna hit here because of already it's already highlighted a little bit and don't worry about going over because we have a easy fix for that so see right here it's a little dark so it doesn't look like it's gonna hit there we small the brush make the brush a little bit smaller color in there here and there you go so as you can see that's the light it looks not good at all right now but once we do this this is why we made the PNG for the background so you're gonna make sure you select it on the highlight layer double click or click with two fingers on a Mac and you're gonna hit create clipping mask Ooh. create clipping mask as you can see it clipped right around him just just like we want so you're gonna change the blending mode to soft light um, and you can see it gave that little highlight effect as if light was shining here and here which it is so then we're gonna make another new layer select black as our color and then <clears throat> you're gonna make a brush a little bit bigger this time's a little more rough and do a little bit here here make it a little bigger this is gonna be the um, shadows of the image we draw over this you don't always have to put it on his main body part right there, but it, it looks a little better if you do. And then draw it on the inside. As you can see, I did the black on the inside and the white on the outside to uh, resemble the lighting effects. So we're also going to create a clipping mask for that. And then this one's not a little different because soft light doesn't look as good like that. That doesn't look as good. So we're going to go with normal and then we're going to bring the opacity down to 50 ish or to your liking. We're also going to do that for the fill opacity as well. So, as you can see, it's it's darker, but it's not too dark. Um, so, in case you mess up a little bit, you can create a layer mask. This button right down here, and make sure you're on black because the because the layer mask is white. So you can paint over black and fix a little if you have if you made any mistakes. Um, this is actually really useful. These layer masks. Once you get once you learn to use them, uh, you can use them almost any for almost anything. So right now we have the lighting and um, shadows and highlights done. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the light source. So um, it's coming from both angles, so it might be good to do both angles, or I th I'm thinking it's we should do both. So we're going to hit click a new layer, shift, uh, delete, and we're going to do color black contents black so right now you can see it's all black don't worry everything's still here and you're gonna create a layer mask and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brush we're gonna make it bigger and maybe it's possible yeah it's on zero hardness a little bit so since this layer mask is white we're gonna make sure we have black that we can paint over and what we're gonna do is just really simply I'm just gonna just drag out like this create that lighting effect Take out this middle because you're, you don't need that um, you don't need that little black part there. So you're just going to take this out to make it a little more realistic. Uh, not too much. And then what you can do once you get lower away from the light source, you can bring your um, bring your opacity down and uh, take out the little the little extra uh, to make it more realistic as well. All for this design, it's all about being realistic. Take, take out, lower the opacity and take out a little more um, so, it, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, so after we created the, sh the realistic shadow like this, we're going to want to create the actual light source. So you're going to take the, um, make sure you're bringing your opacity and flow all the way back up and take the brush tool, make it a little bigger, like uh, about that should be good, around 1700 if you're using this image. I should do it to, um, 
how you think it should be. Um, we're just a little bit about around 1500 and then just click in the middle of the screen like that. Um, oh wait, actually that goes in the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Now you can do it now. That, that's going to be a good light source, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to move it. So we're going to move the, if you can see the little uh, crosshair here, the rotation tool, the little rotation part, you're going to move that to the corner. You're going to duplicate that layer and drag it into the other corner as well. Uh, so as you can see, we have two light sources and we have the um, the, uh, the the realistic shadow on the bottom. So from here, what we're going to do is um, we are going to open up a thanks for 10k PSD. This is, I believe this is Cloud Graphics's um, PSD, yeah, you can see right there. If you go check out his Instagram page, it's just Clyde Graphics, and you can, uh, I, I don't know if this is still in his bio, but you can also, you can, uh, get it, you can DM him and ask him for the download link. But what we're going to do from this PSD, um, I'll do, I'll just take this light, because I don't have this, this, uh, uh, dust and light particles saved in my own folder. I'll just put them in the, uh, I'll put a little doc for the, um, all the effects needed for this and put it in the description. So we're going to take the dust particle layer here and we're going to drag it and we're going to put it, make sure it's above the shadow and then you're going to bring it and put it right next to the light and then you're going to duplicate it and then edit, transform, flip horizontal and then you put it with the other light. So you got that, you got that little, um, little dust particle effect there that makes it look even more realistic, which I, it throws a nice little effect on there. So after this, we're going to minimize this. We're going to open up our folder of effects. Uh, this is my folder of effects. I don't use them too often. I often use um, a different folder. Um, but we're going to find the, the smoke one smoke not not you don't want an entire like that I'm pretty sure I have a smaller one in here but if I don't I'll get one let me see real quick um, okay this one's this one's perfect so we're gonna take the smoke uh, you're gonna drag it like this make sure it's under the the um, or actually we'll put it over put it over and put uh, put soft light or do we want to do soft light no we won't we won't Normal, just put it normal and just drag the opacity down because you want you want that little bit of smoke effect put it actually under that so you can see how that little bit of smoke right there um, bring it up just a little bit so it looks pretty good I'm just gonna put them both on 50 to uh, for that full effect so you can see that little bit of smoke there so right now we have the, we have the lighting on the player done the two light sources the um, dust particles, the realistic shadow, and we throw a little bit of smoke in there. So uh, next what we're going to do is we are going to throw in um, some lighting effects. Um, but before we do that, um, I this is always a key component to making it look good. Uh, we're going to add a new layer, take the brush, select black, and just paint a little, like paint right or Hold shift when you do this so it looks so it's a, a perfect vertical or horizontal line. Then you're gonna do this and then just bring the opacity down like that so you can see how it's darkened behind him a little bit so it looks like the light is coming down from this angle and this angle but not behind him. So that always is throws in that little bit of lighting effect. And once you're done this, you're done with the editing, but you wanna put in the um, the filter. So you're going to hold this button and create new fill or adjustment layer. Hold it. And you're going to go down to gradient map. Um, the first gradient map you want to do is uh, foreground to transparent or foreground to background. You want to do black to white. Uh, make sure it's like this, not like this, because you don't want it to look like that. You want it in regular, or depending on if you do white to black, you're going to want it to look like this. So then you're going to go to uh, soft light for the blending options. And you can see that it really put an effect on that. But what we're going to do is drag this down to around 50 or where you think. Because that, that right there, you don't want it too strong because we're going to put another gradient map on of a different color. Uh, 
Um, this is also a stock one, the violet orange, um, violet to orange gradient map. You're going to hit OK, and then you're going to hit soft light on this one. Um, this gives that nice color that we uh, really want. Um, so and then you're going to want to, sometimes you're going to have to bring that one down a little bit. But if you don't want it too, too strong, you can also bring down the opacity of the shadow a little bit. That was a little too much. But see how it, and then now that looks a lot better than what it did. So as you can see, we had the color, the little effect on there, and it looks pretty good. Um, and then you're going to want to throw in a little brightness and contrast layer. Bring, bring the brightness up a little bit and then the contrast up a little bit. Um, it just added a little nice, cleaner effect, and I think it looks a lot better. So um, this might be it. Let me see if we need to do one more thing. Let's see how this image looks. Um, we can always... Um, bring this uh, this is an, um, this is the color one so all the lighting the lighting effects looks good but right now what we're gonna want to do is put in a vibrance layer so it's also under these um, filler adjustment layers um, we're gonna make the brightness and we're gonna or the vibrance and we're gonna bring the bright vib vibrance um, down so it, it's, it gives that kind of look um, you can also bring the saturation down um, to make it look a little bit more vintage like the other designs that I've made and I think that looks let me bring it down a little bit more yeah that looks perfect right there so you can see how these how these gradient maps and the vibrance really make this image pop it, uh, it looks really really good uh, we're gonna throw in a little um, a little watermark here you can see I'm using Gotham book regular you can use any watermark you want or you can just search up this font on the internet and just look up free downloads so we're going caps lock uh, ng for natural graphics and we're going to grab this uh, we're going to put it uh, it's a little too small I'll make that a little bigger throw it right here and we can lower that opacity so it so it doesn't uh, draw everybody's attention so you can see that looks pretty good um, that's going to be the final image right there. So then we're going to save it. Save as, we're going to save it as Stamkos Retouch. We still got the caps lock on. Stamkos Retouch PSD. Save it to any folder you want. I save all my editing stuff in my editing folder. Save it as a Photoshop first. I'm going to hit OK. Um, wait till this fills all the way up or there's nothing there. And you're going to hit save as again. Save it as this time a JPEG. Um, save. And then normally I always keep my quality on maximum for the best uh, possible image. So, guys, that's going to be it. This is the video for Stamco Stamco's Retouch. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll make sure I put all the effects, like the dust particles, uh, the smoke, and uh, I think and I think that's it in the description below oh, and the link for the image um, in the description below so you guys can download them and try this for yourself if you want. Thanks for watching guys. That's gonna be it and I'll see you in the next one.